is Patrick from STH. Today we're going to look at three Docker Swarm management tools, Shipyard, Portainer, and Rancher. We had a new Supermicro Big Twin system with four nodes set up in the lab and we wanted to test out a few different Docker Swarm management GUIs. The cool here is we were able to install all three management systems on the same set of four nodes. Upon logging into Shipyard, which will be the first one that we look at, you can see there's a list of containers. There's also the options to deploy containers and sort the list. You can see there's a list of images and the ability to add images. You can see an inventory of nodes. You can see repositories, accounts, and specific system events that have happened. When it comes to container deployment, we really liked how this UI was laid out. Setting resource limits, swarm constraints, restart policies, and etc. were very easy to navigate and use with Shipyard. We really like this feature. After a container is deployed, it's fairly easy to inspect the container. We're going to look at one right now. You can see that there are various options. For example, right now we're looking at stats. You can also look at logs. You can pull up another feature which is really cool which is looking at a interactive console directly from the web user interface. Overall we liked Shipyard however we're about to go look at Portainer which we think is actually a little bit easier to use. One container install very quick to set up you can see the user interface is very responsive. You can see in the container list that actually Rancher and Shipyard created a lot of different containers and images. You can see that they even have a registry to pull down a few select applications very quickly. The templates available were not as extensive as we saw with Rancher, but it's still something that's nice to have and wasn't in Shipyard. Moving on to the service creation, what you will notice is that creating a service is extremely easy if you have a container that's already set up with everything you need. The advanced features such as scheduling on, as a global, which means on every node, or replicated and a number of replicas is easy to find as are some of the command line options, volumes, network, uh, labels, etc services created you can see it on the service list you can go in inspect the service you can see where the replicas are running you can change the number of replicas similar to how we can look at services we can also inspect containers and go into greater detail like we saw with shipyard again most of the containers on this list are from the rancher and shipyard installs we can inspect one of the rancher containers Somewhat similarly to how we managed a, to create a swarm service, you can also create a simple container. The UI is very similar. We also wanted to inspect a container and show that there are features such as being able to get to the console directly from the web GUI. Overall, if you just want a lightweight Docker Swarm Manager, Portainer is the answer. The third and final solution we wanted to look at is Rancher. Rancher has more features, but it also imposes its own management scheme. So it's not just using Docker Swarm. It can also manage multiple environments. By default, it uses its cattle environment. However, there is experimental support for Docker Swarm. We like the ability to create stacks which allow you to group different services together. We also like the fact that Rancher has its own image repository, so it's very easy to pull services from the catalog. When you get to the host configuration, there's a lot of detail out there. Rancher also gives you the option to add more advanced hosts and gives you PowerShell commands for Windows hosts as a good example. Like the other solutions, there are large lists of running containers. But there's also the ability to run great services such as running Rancher in high availability mode. Rancher also supports multiple user authentication schemes. 
We also like the fact that it had drivers for various popular hosting platforms, not just AWS. I think if you want a more robust solution that can handle anything you throw at it, Rancher is the option to go with. I also think that if you're looking for quick and dirty swarm management, you should take a look at Portainer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more cool videos.